Now we check back in with Amanda Vinicky, who spent the day reporting in Little Village. Amanda. Hey, I'm Brandis. Just a while ago, I spoke with Alderman Michael Rodriguez. He's a member of the Progressive Caucus, represents the 22nd Ward, which includes parts of Little Village. And by the time we spoke, he had watched the footage released by COPA and the Chicago Police Department. And here's his reaction. So two weeks ago, we experienced a tragedy here in our community. A 13-year-old boy, Adam Toledo, was shot by police and murdered. First and foremost, we need to wish and wrap our arms around the mother and the family of Adam. Um, we mourn Adam and we grieve as a community. Um, I watched the tapes. They were brutal. Uh, they were very hard to watch. You know, uh, this shooting happened several blocks from where we're at now in my office. Uh, I live several blocks from where the Toledo family lives. This is this violence here in our community and, and the violence perpetrated by police um, is um, it's just unacceptable and we got to do something about it. You called it murder. Do you believe that's what this was? We haven't heard from the officer. Uh, the police video does make a point to say it was milliseconds between when supposedly um, when we see from the video a firearm, a gun in um, Adam Toledo's hand and then his hands went up in between that time he was shot. I mean, the child was shot dead. He was murdered. I mean, it's a fact. Um, I think we'll let the days play out, the, the videos play out, the legislative process play out to define whether uh, uh, or what kind of punishment this officer needs. But that video was absolutely brutal. And a 13-year-old had his hands up and was, and was shot dead. Um, you know, we've got to figure out what's wrong with policing in our country. The fact that so many black and brown young people are dying at the hands of police is just unacceptable. That's the issue here. That's what we need to address. And as a city council, it's time to take action. And as the alderman of the 22nd Ward, I want to be a part of that action. What does that action look like? It means passing civilian oversight of our police department. It means supporting a compromise between two huge grassroots organizations that have come together to create a groundbreaking piece of legislation that will lead to civilian oversight of our police. I don't think all police are bad. I actually work very well with our 10th District Police Department. They're very responsive uh, when we call upon them. But the fact is, is that we've seen too many instances where police need to be held accountable, and they need to be held accountable by, the, by, by civilians so that the community can regain the trust in the police community relationship so that policing gets better and, for that, and so that uh, communities get safer. How could this have gone differently? And when it was happening in real time, or perhaps before that through interventions, uh, different type of police force, how could this have gone differently? You know, we've all failed Adam Toledo. And we have many young people in our community that we need to look after. You know, we're a very young community. Um, I'm proud that we've gone from zero dollars to 36 million dollars, 37 million dollars in violence prevention in two years. Uh, violence prevention program that I believe um, has tamped down and uh, tamped down violence in our community and continues to be a best practice in making our, sa our neighborhood safer. You know, I was out in the street after the riots and everything that happened last year, uh, you know, well into the morning and our outreach workers were out there into the evening doing a great job and I'm very proud of them, and I'm going to continue to work with them. That's how we move forward, by reinvesting in after-school programs, in violence prevention efforts, and reforming our police accountability. I believe that's the, that's the strategy to create safer neighborhoods. Once again, that was Alderman Michael Rodriguez of the 22nd Ward. He did tell me when we had stopped recording um, that, you know, he wanted to give a compliment to the CPD that recently he said just nearby his home, they had apprehended somebody who was dealing guns. He says that is the sort of police work that the CPD needs to be doing. Again, keeping communities safer, not the sort of work that was shown in the video that led to Adam Toledo's death. Brandis, back to you in the studio.